Hey, I'm Chris with Bernese of the Rockies, and in this video, we're talking about something very serious, and that is the passing or the soon to be passing of your dog. And it's one of those topics where I just really wanted to take a moment to address this with you. Now, if you're a fan of this show, uh, you know, typically I wear plaid, and because I'm a very plaid kind of guy, and I would go into like a, you know, happy music intro and things like this, but uh, based on the, you know, the serious of this video um, I just wanted to really show my respect and uh, possibly you're going through a tough time right now or you have been or you will be in the future so I just wanted to be respectful and uh, see if I can help you uh, through through this video now one thing I want to tell you right off the bat is I am NOT a counselor I'm not a doctor I'm not a psychiatrist and so if you are really having a tough time um, this video is not supposed to be like a band-aid or anything like that uh, this is just uh, me talking from the heart and so if you're going through a tough time maybe this is not the video you want to watch right now um, if it's something where uh, you know you just want some inspiration then, then it might help you so just getting out of the way if you need a medical or, or you know a professional uh, you know advice uh, this is not the place for sure and definitely seek help if you need it so so most of my videos, you know, is happy and we're talking about puppies and, you know, the birth of puppies and, and dogs in general. But at some point, you know, that day comes when, you know, you have to say goodbye physically to your dog. And so I get a lot of people to contact me and they say, well, Chris, I'm looking to get a new dog, but I feel like I'm replacing my old dog. And so this video is more of a tribute. So it's nothing about, uh, you know, anything bad or, or anything that negative like in that sense so what I what I usually tell people is you know when you're facing um, the passing of, a, of, a, of your loved dog um, it's one of those things that's never easy you know it's never that right time you know it's never you know if you could only have one more day you know if you could have one more week you know the one more outing you know and so I know it's a very serious kind of thing and so I encourage you to um, you know, be thankful for the time that you have had because obviously that's a very big deal. But what I tell people is I look at um, life maybe different than a lot of people. I look at life like a book. So you have your, your, you know, your beginning and your end and it's the chapters in between full of pages of memories that you make. And for me, you know, my dogs are a chapter in my life. I mean, each one of my dogs are, you know, are an individual chapter in my book of, of life, you know, the book of Chris, and it's one of those things where some people are worried that if they're getting a new dog, they're replacing, you know, an old, you know, an older dog or something, and that's never the case. I look at it as, you know, you can always go back, you can always go back and relive those memories and things like this, and it's one of those things when you get a new dog, you're just making new memories because it's not the same dog, you're making new memories you know, new stuff. Now it's easy to compare and, and go back and say, oh man, it's like my dog was, you know, reincarnated in this other dog because it's so many of the same kind of things. And so I know that it's a tough thing. And so again, I just want to help you and kind of give you some inspiration. So one of the biggest keys, I believe, um, when you have a dog, whether or not it's young or old, is to make memories. This is very important and to document those memories, whether or not through you know, pictures or videos or whatever, make sure you take the time to uh, you know, document these memories, make memories for you um, that's going to last because uh, you wanna be able to recall those memories and remember those good times so that when the day comes where uh, your dog's no longer with you physically, that you still have those pictures and videos. So I wanna cut here real quick and I was very blessed and honored that uh, one of uh, the families that I know uh, gave me permission to show you a video tribute to their dog who is no longer here physically. And so I wanted to share that with you. Now granted, if you're going through a tough time right now, you know, this may not be the video to watch, um, but if it's something where maybe you're preparing for stuff, um, you know, it's something to just look at it with an open heart. Um, you might cry a little, I did, I'm a man and I, I seriously bawled. Uh, because I put my heart out there and everything that I do. So we're going to cut real quick. We're going to show you this tribute video and then we're going to come back. Stay tuned. Let me go. I don't want to be your hero. I don't want to be your 
big man I just wanna fight with everyone else You're my masquerade I don't wanna be a part of your parade Everyone deserves a chance to Walk with everyone else While holding down I try to keep my girl around And maybe buy me some new strings And her and I out on the weekend And we can whisper things Secrets from our American dreams Baby needs some protection But I'm a kid like everyone else So let me go I don't wanna be your hero I don't wanna be a big man I just wanna fight like everyone else That, that tears at the, the heart, you know, and, you know, and it's one of those things when you watch a video like that and you see a dog grow and stuff and all the fun memories, uh, you can't help but just put yourself in the family's shoes and, and what, whoever's shoes because, you know, when you're recalling the memories in your, your head about all the fun you have with your dog, you know, I mean, it's just, if you love your dog, I mean, there's people that love their dogs a lot, just like me, you know. And so you really embrace life. And so thank you to the family. I'm going to put a, a link in the description of this video so you can see the original and maybe yeah, make a comment for them on their video. I'm sure they appreciate it. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, again, use this example, please, to when you're getting a new puppy, document every day that you can. I mean, granted, if you could do a every single day, that'd be so, so cool. Um, but just make sure the memories count, you know, make sure that when you're taking those trips or when they're doing funny things, make sure it's just like a kid, you know, you take pictures when they're first walking or first doing stuff and then they grow up and you look back and they're at graduation and you're just like, wow, what happened to the time? Same thing with your dog. So I encourage you to, to take some time to, to really uh, document their life. One thing that I like to do is um, I get a, a canvas board like a one of your hobby stores or something and I take my dogs and I get safe paint and I put their paw prints now most of them don't even look like a paw print <laughs> but I put their names next to them and I know that these are my dogs these are some of them that I've had you know and you know there's some that you know that I, I didn't have a chance to put on here and, and now that I, I do you know and so you know there's all kinds of things that you can do to uh, you know remember your dogs and I know if you're going through a tough time right now, I, I encourage you can reach out to me. Maybe you can leave a comment in this post, uh, you know, in this video underneath. You can talk about your dogs and maybe share some memories. Um, sometimes talking makes things a little bit better. I know a lot of people debate whether or not they should do, uh, you know, a burial or cremation kind of thing. Uh, for me, I'm very big on cremation because I want to take, you know, my dogs with me everywhere I go. Another thing I do is I always take their collar 
um, with their tag and I always hang it up, you know, it's very as a memory. And uh, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, your dog's here one day, you know, they're, they're gone the next and everything's going to be perfect. And you're just like, okay, let's go hit the pet store because that's not reality at all, you know. And so if you're looking to adopt a dog, you know, don't feel bad. Don't feel guilty because you feel like you're replacing your old dog. That's not it at all. And sometimes people have even gone to the fact where, say they had a Bernese before and it passed away, then they don't get a Bernese again because they don't want to have those memories. So they think, okay, if I get a different dog, then it's not on the same level kind of thing. But other times people just, they love the breed and they know how loving they are. And so they want to keep that same, you know, love going on further. So again, thank you for watching this video. I know it's a, a way toned down compared to most of my other videos. Um, but it's one of those things, one of those topics is really want to address because not everything's rainbows and butterflies and puppies and kittens kind of thing. Um, you know, sometimes you, you have to, to face life and it's, it's a tough thing. And so I just want to reach out to you as a friend in the canine community. And if you want to talk, you can always email me. You can always visit me on my website at BernieseOfTheRockies.com. And of course, you can leave a comment um, under this video um, if you're having questions or if you need help. Um, again, I'm not a psychiatrist, not a doctor. I'm not a counselor of any sort. Uh, I'm just a friend. You know, I, I can hand out my hand as a digital handshake and say hello. Um, but again, uh, you know, nobody can put themselves in your shoes. So if you take anything away from this video, you know, document the time that you have with your dogs. You know, make sure that you take the time to, you know, make memories with them. For me, for example, uh, one of our dogs are getting older. He's nine years old. And uh, for Bernese, that's good, you know. And uh, he, uh, we started a burner bucket list. And so we are doing things with him uh, to make sure that we, we do make those memories, you know. And I encourage you to do the same thing. I mean, uh, there's actually even like a, not to name drop, there's a car commercial where a, a, a guy's taking his dog around and doing stuff with them. And it's inspiring, you know? I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, that's powerful. And so, you know, maybe take some ideas like the canvas board, taking paw prints, doing, you know, fun things like that, making videos. Thank you again to the family to let me, to let me use their video. Um, take that inspiration and, and roll with it, you know? Make memories with your dogs, you know, while you still have them. And, you know, if they've passed away, I send out my, my deepest um, sympathy. And, and uh, again, I, I'm here for you if you need somebody to talk to. And if you look into a dog in the future, you know, don't ever feel like you're replacing your dog because you're not. You know, it's simply, again, if you take my analogy of life where you have a beginning and the end and the chapters are what make up your life, then look at each dog like a new chapter, you know. You can go back and read the other chapters, you know. You can always go back and relive those memories through your videos and pictures and, and all these fun things. But think about, you know, your, your dog going forward as a new chapter. So that way you don't feel guilty. There's no regret. There's no things like that. You're just making, you know, new, uh, you know, new memories with your other, with your, with your new dog and stuff. So um, thank you for watching this Bernese of the Rockies uh, video. I truly appreciate it. Um, if you, I, again, this video is a little bit off compared to some of my other videos, um, but I just really wanted to, you know, address a very serious topic and, uh, uh, you know, because again, not everything's puppies and kittens, everything's perfect, you know. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, share with you my heart and uh, let you know that you're not alone and uh, somebody's always here for you. So again, thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. If you love dogs, you know, please subscribe to this channel. I truly appreciate it. It's one of those things where every subscriber matters to me. It's not just another number. You're somebody to me. And I truly appreciate that. So um, again, thank you for watching this video. If you have a dog, hug your dog. If your dog has passed away and is no longer here, you know, say a prayer or, or you know, give him a little kiss up to the heavens and uh, let him know that somebody's thinking about him. So until next week, be blessed and take care.